Lewis structure, we will try CH3, CO2, H. This is a different way of writing acetic acid. Step one, valence electrons. So there's two carbons at four, there's four hydrogens at column one, and then there's two oxygens in column six. Uh, that's going to be 12, and 4 is 16, plus 8, this is 24. So, now the tricky part on some of these is just writing the skeleton. The skeleton, there's usually going to be only one best answer of a skeleton. Um, with rare exception, you might be able to come up with a second one. Carbon. The carbon's going to be in the center. Yeah, so let me start to draw this carbons in the center. And remember what I told you today about lists? So it's going to be carbon. You see this list of hydrogens? Those hydrogens are going to be on the first carbon. Then the next carbon. And those two oxygens are going to be on this carbon. So the list represents what's on the one previous. Okay, so if you saw, for example, I'll do here on scratch. X, Y, 4. This means that there's X in the middle and four Y's around it. That's what that means. Okay, that's our standard notation. Okay, so for us here, H, 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 the next C, O and O, the hard part might be to think, I welcome, where the last H is, okay? Uh, when it's this like, when there's oxygens around, I could, I would say almost always it's going to be an oxygen. So I'm going to put it with this one. It doesn't matter which one you pick. But we can try it putting the H somewhere else, like here, as people commonly guess. Um, it's just not going to... The Lewis structure will not be pretty if you do stuff like that. If you put it in the wrong place, you will not get a good Lewis structure. Yeah, That's the nice thing about them. There's usually only one really good answer. So if you really mess up and you cannot figure out a good formal charge or a good octet, probably your skeleton is wrong. Okay, so let's try this. we get a different color and I'll start drawing in, I think, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 of 24 just with the single bonds. Now I'm going to start putting in lone pairs on my terminal atoms. However, hydrogens are not good. You got well, shouldn't the oh. H belong with uh, that last bottom right H belong to the C because the oxygen um, at middle C is already bonded with um, the oxygen, the oxygen and the carbon, and it needs one more. We can try that. We can put. You want to put this H here? Is that, that have the same that? chemical properties? Or does it it's alter? It's utterly different. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you move stuff around, it's utterly different. But uh, we can try that. You'll see the Lewis structure won't look as nice. So let's finish this one first, and then we'll compare and contrast. Sometimes they look okay, and it's a little hard to decide, but uh, uh, we'll see when we get there. So, how many did I say? 14? Um. We're up to 14, so oxygen's the only choice now. 14, uh, there's 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, how's everything look? Are we done? I see one problem, major problem. Yeah, which one? Um, Somebody has a carbon? messed up octet. Carbon, this one right here. Mm -hmm. It's messed up. It doesn't have an octet. We rip two electrons from the top oxygen and Perfect. link it. Yes. Yes. And in this case, in class it didn't... This is going to be a case where it actually does matter that you take it from this oxygen. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why in a second. But you're exactly right. Now, what's a formal charge? Let's start with hydrogen. What's a formal charge on every hydrogen? Neutral. Neutral, yeah. It's in column one, and there's one point of attachment. Okay, how about this carbon? Formal Neutral. Charge. Yeah, it's in column four, one, and there's one, two, three, four. Carbon, column four, one, two, three, four. That's neutral. How about oxygen? It's in what column? Six. six. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's okay. This one also has six. Everything is neutral. And that's very common in organic formal charges of everything is zero. Okay. 
if so let's do a different if you went down a different path like choose your own adventure and you said oh what if I did this we'll try a couple different one different ones and you can see how it might not work if you did that I took taking the lone pair from this one not from the top one does that make sense so if you would have done that you would have seen what's the formal charge on this oxygen right here just a plus. One. one plus or minus? minus minus there's too many more than six in this one Plus one. Yeah, it should be six. It has five. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, those are not bad formal charges, but this is better. But zero is better. So if we did it like that, let's say that um, because there's one minus and one plus, the charges cancel, therefore it's neutral. Well, the overall charge is zero. Yeah, that's always going to be true no matter what these are. Would we get like a major point stop? You will get deducted for not putting this answer. Because this is a much better answer than this one. It's okay, you probably wouldn't get deducted everything, but you get deducted not putting the best answer. Uh, the other thing I think was suggested was this one. H, C, H, H, C, H, O, like that. Is that okay? That was the other one to put the H here, right, Tom? So let's try this out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Is everything okay? Or is there any problems? No, I see it. This one doesn't have an octet. It is unfixable because there's no lone pairs around it. If you said, oh, what if I erase this and put it here? Then what happens? First, you can't do it. Second, <laughs> you break the octet on carbon. Now it has 10 around it. There's no way to fix this one. So, if this ever happened to me, I'm like, oh, I can't get the formal charges and the octets to both work out, that my immediate thought would be I have the wrong skeleton. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, the, well, in order to get the quote unquote right answer, is just trial and error pretty much? Or is yeah. there any general rule you can just kind of go about? The general rules are what I showed you in class with that little flow chart. Okay. If you follow that flow chart, you should be pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Those are like my personal general rules. Okay.